From an immersive environment to crisp animations, Sons of the Forest brings plenty of new elements to the survival scene. So, here are 50 plus must-know tips to enhance your experience in Sons of the Forest. Let's get into it. When chopping down trees, they will always fall in the direction you're currently looking towards. Use this to prevent trees falling in the direction of your base, as they will destroy any buildings in their path. You can hold the inventory button to bring out your backpack, allowing for quicker use of particular items. To switch what items are accessible from the backpack, go to your inventory and bring the backpack into the crafting space. From there, select and replace items of your choice. To use hotkeys on keyboard, to hover over an item in your inventory and press a number from 1 through 9 to assign that item to the corresponding hotkey. You can use Kelvin to gather fish when near a larger source of water. Miraculously, Kelvin is such an advanced angler that he doesn't even need a rod, spear, or net to catch fish making this a reliable source of food. Build and place fish traps in areas of deeper water to have a passive source of incoming food. The same can be done with building birdhouses, to have a constant gathering supply of feathers without needing to hunt birds. Upon rejoining your world, previously looted supply crates and containers will be restocked, making for an easy way to stock up on ammo and other materials. A quick way to clear bushes and plants in an area is to simply throw down a log. The log will roll a bit and destroy any vegetation in its path. Logs can also be transported using zip lines, making for a much more efficient building process. On top of that, logs can be thrown directly into log holders which will automatically sort them into place, eliminating the need for you to walk up and interact with them. Combine this with the zipline technique and you'll up your efficiency big time. As a bonus, logs can even travel up ziplines, making transport to higher places much easier. Lastly, logs can also be transported using the flow of a river, so if you ever want to harvest trees from somewhere more distant from your base, this might be a viable method to use. Or, you can even use it in tandem with the zipline. You can cancel a grenade toss by pulling out your backpack or going into your inventory. Tree stumps can be destroyed with the axe. Simply hold primary attack when looking at one, and you'll do a couple overhead swings to get rid of it. Keep an eye out on Kelvin when he's chopping down trees, as he might chop one you're looking to keep around. To help prevent this further, stand in the area you want him to gather wood from when assigning the task. You can actually use Kelvin as a storage for extra arrows if you happen to be full on them. Just use the interact button to grab them as needed. And no, this doesn't work with bullets. By default, sprinting with your GPS out will cause it to bounce around a lot, making it hard to see. However, when holding out a weapon at the same time, this swaying completely stops. When looking at the GPS, clicking middle mouse button will allow you to zoom in and out of the map. The total amount of days you've been active on the current world can also be seen in the top left corner of the GPS. The inability to sleep at night means there are enemies nearby, which must be killed before being able to successfully sleep. In multiplayer, disable player names if you want a more immersive experience among friends. Have food and water ready before sleeping as these meters deplete overnight. When building on slightly uneven terrain, don't worry about floor tiles being uneven as they will automatically level out once filled in. Some light sources such as wall torches, skull lamps, and chandeliers are non-expirable, meaning they don't need to be refilled or relit. Campfires can be reinforced up to three times, the most simplistic version being two sticks. Following that, use rocks to surround the fire, and lastly, chop up quarter-sized logs into firewood and chuck it on there for the most reinforced version of the campfire. Fish and meat types can be eaten raw. However, they won't provide the same amount of nourishment in comparison to cooked meat. Fish and meat can also be set on a drying rack to dry, preserving them to last longer before rotting in either your inventory or in storage. Dried meat, however, does slightly deplete your thirst meter when consumed. Lastly, fish and meats that are currently hanging on the drying rack will not rot, so long as they stay on the rack, making it a viable option for storing extra foods. You can change the color of the LED lights in your inventory with this button here in the bottom right. Make sure to craft items when full on space to give you more room for basic materials. Placing dead cannibals on an active campfire will burn their body to a crisp, leaving you with just the bones, a useful material in crafting. Enemies being submerged in deep enough water will simply just die. However, oftentimes they will not be lootable unless pushed to the water's edge. When crafting multiple items of the same type, stack enough resources in the crafting area for as much as you want to craft. From here, you can continuously craft items without needing to retrieve materials each time. On top of that, each successive craft of the same item will be faster and faster. When playing single player, accessing your crafting inventory will pause the game around you. However, health and stamina can still be regenerated 
making for a helpful workaround tough situations. Skin pouches will only reward you with materials you aren't currently full on, so it may be worth storing excess before opening them. You can look down when using ranged weapons such as the bow and press the reload button to swap ammunition type. Larger birds such as seagulls can be hit again once already dead, providing extra feathers. It's a decent idea to build near some sources of flowing water, which will provide you with a constant source of hydration even in the winter, when larger sources freeze over. Outfits found throughout the world can not only be worn by the player, but can also be given to allies such as Kelvin, giving them a whole new look. Laptops and radios can be destroyed to obtain circuit boards. Alternatively, when near a radio, you can command Kelvin to pick it up and then follow you, providing some entertainment on the go. Just note that giving Kelvin another command during this will have him drop the radio, and sometimes it will just disappear. Fish can actually be hunted using weaponry like spears and even the bow and arrow. Fall damage is completely negated when riding on a sled, easily making it one of the best options when traversing down from great heights. You should also wiggle left and right when using the sled to avoid coming to a complete stop and instead maintain momentum. Armor worn by the player can also be seen being used by other... Cannibals. <coughs> cannibals! Pay attention to this and attack them in areas where no armor is present to do significantly more damage. If no vulnerable areas are present, focus on one spot in particular and the armor will eventually give way. Sitting on benches while wearing clothing with a high comfort value will regenerate your energy meter, negating the need to sleep if you don't want to skip time. Fresh cannibal limbs can be thrown in the water to serve as a distraction for sharks, which will physically breach the water when eating them. You can stand on ledges in caves that cannibals and mutants can't reach, allowing you to use ranged weaponry to take them out from a safer vantage point. Torches and skull lamps can actually be made on top of fences. Fences can also be extended upwards. Simply make the initial fencing foundation, look down until you have this line marked on the ground, and place another stick. This should then stack on top to make a second layer of fencing. When playing in multiplayer, multiple players can skin creatures at the same time to yield more materials. Items can be duplicated by one player not saving. When logging out in a multiplayer lobby, the guest player can give items to the host or even allies before leaving. As long as the host saves, all items in both their inventory and in the world will still save. The guest player can then log back in and still have the same items they previously dropped. And tip number 56, sit back and enjoy the experience. In its current early access state, rushing the story doesn't seem like a worthwhile endeavor. Instead, immerse yourself in the forest, build a place to call home, and maybe invite some friends along the way too. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and consider subscribing. Leave a comment letting us know any other tips you'd recommend. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.